hi everyone welcome to my channel I'm glad to have you guys here so I had a dream last night and I'm trying to remember the dream but in the dream I was I was comforting this man and he was saying that he doesn't sleep anymore he was telling me he's like I, I can't sleep anymore uh, like he deals with really bad insomnia and he was saying that something about how it started when he had a dream that his girlfriend at the time was cheating on him or he found out psychically somehow that like there was some kind of cheating or some kind of betrayal that was revealed. And so, you know, sometimes, as you guys know, if you've been with me for a while, I do primarily channel. Um, and sometimes I do get messages for my dreams and I wake up and I just it's, it's like it sticks with me and I just kind of know that this might be a message for someone or for multiple people on my channel. It's like this it's, the, you know, in this energy group that we've been channeling. So I feel like this is probably new love. I feel like for the majority of you, this is a new person that you're manifesting. Uh, we have been doing new love readings, but I feel like this could also be the old person for like maybe 10% of you. But basically the energy I got from that is for one, I feel like I feel like you're going to be very healing for this person. I feel like if they do have insomnia and anxiety, I feel like they're going to actually be it's, it's going to be one of the things that makes them fall in love with you is they're going to be very surprised at how calm they feel around you. They're going to be really surprised because I feel like around most people, they have to be in a... Because we've been getting that this new person is sort of a leader. They might be a CEO or a manager. Uh, if this is resonating, you might want to go back and check out those, those readings we've been doing over the past few weeks. But I just feel like this person has a lot on their plate. They have a lot of people that look up to them. They have a lot of people that turn to them for guidance, so they don't really get the chance to have anyone be that healing safe space for them because they're always having to be the one in, in charge. They're always having to be the one to help others. And I feel like this is just going to be like a beautiful relationship between the two of you. Um, and when I ramble like this, I, you know, like I said, I am channeling. So this is, it's the same as me pulling cards. You know what I mean? The cards just help. They're added details, but I do primarily channel. So this is you know, informate like psychic downloads information that I'm getting and bringing to you guys. I hope you guys understand that. I know there's other readers out there too, who, who primarily channel, but anyway, I, I yeah, I feel like it's going to be a very healing connection. I feel like this person is very strong. They have a lot of life experience. Um, they're in a very strong masculine energy. And yeah, I just feel like you're going to be very healing for them. You're going to be really pleasant. Like they're going to be really surprised they might even be a little suspicious at first. They might even be a little bit confused because your energy is so different than what they're used to. I feel like, you know, again, like I feel like this person is is really used to people coming to them for advice. They're not used to being able to go to other people and, and kind of have that rest and that healing energy. Um but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna be taking care of you too. They're gonna be they're gonna be healing for you as well. It's not it's not gonna be a one sided situation, you know. And I feel like it's just such a beautiful thing because I feel like both of you have gone through similar experiences. I feel like both of you have psychic abilities, and I feel like both of you are very empathic. And so the energy that I'm picking up here is I feel like both of you have gone through very similar experiences, where, you know, you've you're, you're both maybe kind of in leadership roles in a way, or you're both very strong people, or you both have a lot of life experience. It's kind of the vibe I get. Um, and I do get like a mental exhaustion coming from both of you in a way. It's like you're very strong, but you're both very tired at the same time. And I just feel like it's been the same for you as it's been for them, where it's like a lot of people coming to them. A lot of people just, you know, people don't often ask strong people how they're doing. Like you can be completely breaking down and it's like people don't really check on you. They don't ask how you're doing because they, you know, you, you put off this image of being able to handle it all on your own. And it, it's like, people don't, people just really respect you. Whoever I'm talking to you, it's like, you're in this position of authority. People have a lot of, um, you're either some kind of like, I don't know if you're like a spiritual leader, you're just, you're. I mean, you could be in a leadership position as well, just like this person is, but I think it's more of like an um, emotional, spiritual type of uh, leadership energy. Does that make sense? Like you might not necessarily be in a, a physical leadership role, but you're just, you're just viewed by, by society. People view you as a very um, strong, very independent person. 
you know, you're, you're someone that doesn't really, uh, you, if you do need a lot of help, you don't always express that you only show a small part of that. Um, I appreciate you guys bearing with me. I'm very ungrounded right now. I need to go out in nature and ground. It's hard because I'm in Sacramento. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of nice places out here to go out in nature, but, um, sorry if this is a little, you know, jumbled, <laughs> Um, that happens too with channeling sometimes just when the information comes through. But anyway, so yeah, I feel like you guys have gone through similar experiences where it's like, you know, people both people view them as strong, just like they view you as strong, even if you haven't met this person. It's like, you both have people in your lives that view you as very strong, very independent, like you have it all together. Um, even if you do have like mental instabilities, mental illness, whatever. It's like people only see a very small portion of that. They might not know how, how bad it really is for you or what you're really dealing with behind the scenes. Um, and so, you know, you've both had these people where you you end up being the advisors. Adv advisors. You end up uh, being mentors for people. You end up being the support system for people. And you don't really, you know, people don't think that you need it. So, so you end up... Um, not having a support system yourself, you end up when you're needing someone, you don't really, you, you don't fully have that, you know, just like them, they're going through, I feel like they've gone through those same experiences where it's like, they've gone through a lot and they've, you know, been that support for others, but haven't really, um, and it might not even be other people's fault. It might not necessarily, it, it might just, it might be their independence. People might just not think that this person needs support. You know what I mean? It might not necessarily be that people don't care. People just probably, you know, look at this person and they're like, well, they're a CEO. Like, they've got their shit together. They they know m way more than I do, especially if you're an old soul. It's like people just, you know what I mean? Um, people just kind of, you know, assume that you're good. But, but yeah, I think this is going to be a really beautiful connection just because I feel like it's like finally the healers are being healed. You know, you guys have both given so much of that energy to other people in your lives. And I feel like that's going to be one of the things that really, you know, makes you guys fall in love with each other is you're going to recognize that, that in each other, that strength, that empathy, that life experience, it's going to really connect you guys on a much deeper level. Um, there's another, there's more messages here too, but let me, sorry, let me sort through it and get to it. Cause I did want to go into this person's psychic abilities as well. But, um, but yeah, what I was saying is it's like, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna really connect you guys and it's going to be mutual. They're going to be giving you that healing energy and you're going to be giving them that healing energy. I had to pause for a minute just to channel and pick up the energy because I'm trying to I'm trying to find a way to word what I'm what I'm feeling and seeing here with this because it's almost like it's like it, it's it's like you guys are healing each other but it's in such a strong supportive way like it's going to be different like the way that you've healed others is I feel like you guys have dealt with um, maybe psychic vampire types or just people that weren't nearly as strong as you are you know again same for them they've dealt with the same thing. So it's like you guys are going to be healing each other, but it's in a very different way than the way that you've helped other people heal. It's almost like, like it's just going to be so natural. It's not going to be one of those things where you're like trauma dumping on this person and they're trauma dumping on you. Um, and I personally, I, I mean, I personally like don't understand the term trauma dumping because I feel like if you're, if you love someone, if you're really connected, you want to know about them. You want to hear about their traumas. You want to hear about their pain, their fears, their, you want to know who they truly are. But I guess the term trauma dumping could be for like the psychic vampire types where it's like they call you up and they're just venting to you for half an hour and they don't ask how you're doing. They don't ask if you're busy. They're just like, they just pour it all out on you. You know what I mean? I guess that could be considered trauma dumping. But I think there's, there's a, there's a difference between trauma dumping and, uh, I guess trauma sharing, you know, like, like, uh, connecting with others and, and, you know, that that's part of who you are. I mean, that's part of what you've been through. It's part of what's made you who you are. It's part of what's brought to, brought you to where you are today. And I feel like the people that love you want to know, you know, all the good and all the bad too about you. They're going to want to really know you on a deep level. Um, so it's like, you know, and, and in the past, like people have trauma dumped on you. But this, what you guys are going to have, it's going to be more like trauma sharing, I guess. I guess I came up with a new term for it. Um, 
where it's it's like very natural you know what i mean like they're not there's not going to be that psychic vampire energy in it they're not going to be using you as a crutch you're not going to be using them that way either it's more like you guys are just going to have these deep conversations where you're like oh i've i've been through that too i've experienced that too um like like i feel like like very ph philosophical conversations too like um like you're going to con like you're going to connect on very deep levels and i feel like there's going to be these conversations where it's like yeah i i went through this and it changed my perspective and it helped me um uh, I, I learned a karmic lesson or it helped me learn it, it, uh, it, it changed my perspective. This was, it's, it's like, you're going to be talking about the, um, I feel like these deep conversations you guys are going to be having. It's like, you're going to be talking about the, these moments in your life that really like shaped you or that really changed your perspective, or they really made you see things differently. So it, it's almost like, like trauma sharing, but it's like very deep and very spiritual. Like it's very, um, it's in like a very uh positive enlightened mind like mindset. I hope that makes sense. And I know that goes against what like traditional psychics and healers say. A lot of them are like, oh, you have to be positive and blah, blah, blah. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not one of those psychics. I, you know, life is an experience, is life is a mix of of good and, and bad energies or whatever. Like pain and anger, those are normal human emotions. Like we all go through those things. You know what I mean? And so I feel like you're going to have that connection with this person where you're going to be able to just have like just very honest and very vulnerable connection with this person is what I'm picking up. Um, so it's like you're going to be healing each other like both on in like a very natural way where it's like you're just not going to feel as alone and you're going to feel that support. You're going to feel connected where it's like you're you're sharing these things with each other. Um, and the conversations are just going to sort of flow. It's like you're just going to find yourself like, you know, sharing things that you wouldn't share with anybody else and, and vice versa. And it's just it's a really beautiful thing, too, because I feel like it's it's time for for more of this. It's time for healers to start healing other healers. It's really time for that, because when you heal a psychic vampire type, when you I think I went into this in one of the last readings recently, too. When you heal a psychic vampire type, I'm not I'm not talking about someone who's just lost and damaged and angry and bitter and they're going through a lot. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like a genuine psychic vampire, like somebody who just does not give a shit about other people. They're not just damaged and angry. They're they're they genuinely are just selfish. They genuinely just, you know, someone who's um someone someone who just really just wants to take it's not about they're not just damaged they're not they're not um just sad over something it's like they genuinely just have that that selfish entitled mentality that's part of who they are when you give and give and give to someone like that that energy you give out dies with them and I almost feel like these these people are almost uh I don't know if you call them tests or blocks or it, it's like some kind of weird energy that the universe puts out there and honestly, a lot of healers become narcissistic or they become closed off if they if they give their energy to too many people like that, you know, and you have to also think if you're giving your energy to someone like that, it dies with them. Like that psychic vampire that's just selfish and entitled and thinks that the world owes them something. They they don't they're not going to appreciate it. That energy is going to die with them. They're not going to give that back out to somebody else. They're not going to pay it forward. But if you're healing someone who's genuine, like a really genuinely good person who maybe is just a little bit lost or damaged, um, we're all damaged. You know, again, a lot of psychics don't want to admit that, you know, e even us, we're, we're all we're all damaged. We're all human. It's 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 normal. But. But yeah, when you when you heal another healer, when you heal a genuinely good person, they're they're going to pay that for they're going to remember that they're going to appreciate that. And that energy continues, you know, so you have to, as a healer, I feel like you have to be very mindful of your energy, of, of what you're spending your energy on. It's okay to be a little bit selfish with your energy. It doesn't mean you have to be cold hearted to people, but I mean, you can, you need to use your intuition and, and not just give and give and give, um, Anyway, that's that's another message for another time. But but yeah, it's beautiful because it's like this is this is two healers coming together, two people with psychic abilities coming together 
and, and getting on this spiritual path together and, and helping each other heal. So it's going to be much different than your past relationships for, for both you and for them. And I almost feel like they might even be a little bit suspicious of it at first. They like they might be um they might because like in the dream, I remember it was like this person was like, I can't like he was like telling me in the dream, and there was this, it was weird. There was like this chair that was like made out of dirt that we were like sitting in or that I was sitting in, and it was like a I think it was like a symbol of like being uh, grounded or being connected to nature. Maybe you're gonna meet this person out in nature, possibly, but because I remember in the chair, there was like all these roots coming up too. Like it was like part of, it was, it was really interesting. But, but yeah, I, I feel like it's like in the dream, he was, he was telling me, he's like, you know, I can't sleep after I found out that he said something about like someone like betrayed him or cheated on him. And it's like, he psychically found out or he dreamed it. He picked up on it. And he said that he has had trouble sleeping since. So this person might actually have insomnia or this person might just be someone that like they can't really relax. I feel like this person is very um this person's very genuine, very loyal. They're a very good person. They are a little bit distrusting right now, I feel, but just just I think just what they've been through in their lives. I feel like they're just a little bit tired. They're just a little bit they, they they're kind of viewing humanity a certain way, I guess you could say. Um but I don't, it's not really in like a bitter way. It's like they still see the good in people. They're still, they're still doing their best to like ground themselves. But I feel like this person's going to be really surprised because around you, they're going to feel more relaxed. They're going to feel more, um, like they might even be able to sleep when they're around you. Maybe they can't usually fall asleep around people, especially like a new person, and they might be surprised, like this might come up for your, some of you, some of you might actually have this come up where they're like, oh, wow, like I, I, you know, like we were hanging out and I was able to fall asleep and that doesn't usually happen for me. Like I usually, you know, I'm like wide awake or I'm very, you know what I mean? It's like, they're just going to rest. It's like, they're going to feel like you're a safe space for them. And you're going to feel that way with them too. You're going to feel very safe with each other, um, very connected to each other. They might even be like a little bit, not, not in like a, not in a severe way, but they may even be a tiny bit suspicious of it. Like not like, they're just going to want to know more about you. Like at first, especially if they, if you guys haven't had deep talks yet, like if this happens early on and they're just, it's almost like a soul recognition thing where they just kind of, you know, very early on the first week or two, they start feeling very comfortable around you. It's, it's more, it's, it's suspicious, but it's more in like a curious way. They're going to be like, what is it about her? What is it about him? Like, why, why am I feeling so calm? Why am I feeling so secure? Like what, like what's going on here? Why, like, like, what is this? What, what is this about? Like, what's, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're going to want to know more about you. They're going to want to know. I feel like this person is very intelligent and they like to study people too. So they're going to be like, what is it about you? Um, so they're going to be really doing some digging and it might seem, it, it, it's like, how do I explain it? I don't know if it's going to be off-putting necessarily, like, because I feel like it is going to be a turn-on that this person wants to know so much about you. But I feel like some of you might be like, why is this person, like, interrogating me? Like, why do, like, why are they asking me all these, like, what are they trying to find out? Like, some of you are going to get this sense, this, like, intuitive sense. You're like, what is, like, do you not trust me? Like, what is it? But it, it, it's, they're just not used to the feelings that you bring up. They're not, they're not going to be, and for some, this is coming in. For some, you can feel this intuitively coming in, but maybe it hasn't manifested quite yet. I would say keep going out there though. Keep, keep putting yourself out there. Keep the energy flowing. Keep moving. It's almost like they're going to be, what, 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 what's that term? Is it like when you throw a monkey wrench? I don't know if I'm using that term correctly. Um, like the, like a tower moment, but like a positive tower. Like I'm seeing the tower card. Um, I'm seeing the devil card, but in a positive light, like the, the devil card can be like obsession and lust, but I think it's more than that. But I just feel like there's going to be a lot of passion with this relationship. Like it is going to be deeper, but there is going to be a strong um, physical attraction, I believe. And there is going to be almost like an obsession with you. They're like, they're going to be so thrown off. They're going to be like, how, how is it? I'm like, like they're not expecting it. I feel like this person has, um, 
how do I explain it? They have control issues, but not in like a negative sense. I feel like this person has control issues, but it's it's not really like a not like a jealous, insecure kind of controlling. It's more of a controlling as in like I'm in a leadership position. I have to I have to be in control of things or I have to be in control of my emotions. I have to like they get things done. You know what I mean? Like they they're they're asked to be that way, even if they don't want to be. They're they're in a position where they need to be in control. Where people rely on them, family relies on them, or, or or workers, someone relies on them. And with you, they're very early on. They're going to feel like they they don't have that sense of control with you, where it's just very unpredictable. They're like, well, usually, and I, I think you're going to be very mysterious to this person too. I feel like you're going to be very mysterious, even if you're having the deep conversations and they know who you are. Like, even if you guys are having, like, even if you guys are really getting to know each other, I feel like there's going to be this sense of, like, mystery about you because they're still not going to be quite able to put their finger on it. Like, well, why do I feel so comfortable and so safe when I haven't felt this before? Or why am I able to fall asleep around this person when normally it's really hard for me to fall asleep if, I, if someone new is in the environment? Um... I feel like this person's like a protector type too. So they're probably, that's probably part of it too. That it's like, they don't really, it's like they relax, but they don't relax, you know? Um, like they're always ready, even if they're hanging out and relaxing, they're always ready to take control and be in a leadership role if it's, if they're called to do that. This could also be someone, maybe they can't relax because maybe with their work, Maybe some of them, because I see them on a couch and it's like they're ready to like spring into action. Like they're, they're, it's like they're watching a movie, they're relaxing, but they're like, they're not able to fully get into it. It's, it's almost like maybe they, um, maybe they get a lot of text messages or they get like work related calls or like maybe if employees call out sick, they're the ones that have to deal with it or like they're, because it's almost like they're always, or they could even have like a family member or friend that's sick or something. Because I just see them with their phone and it's like they're expecting a text or they're expecting a call. And if they get this text message or this call, and this might not be for everybody, but for a lot of you, it's like if they get this text message or, their, or this call, they have to like go work or they have to take care of someone or they have to do something like they, you know what I mean? Like they, they have to take action somehow if they get this, if they, if, if someone messages them is, is the inner, is what I'm seeing here. But, but yeah, that's what's going to like kind of baffle them about you. They're going to be like, wow, like I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not my usual self. Like I'm, I'm more, I'm more relaxed, but they're, they're going to, that's, what's going to make you mysterious too, but they're going to do more digging and, and almost, almost to the point of interrogating you. Um, they might even have their friends kind of find out more about you because they're going to want this in, they're going to want information about you. They're going to want to know. They're going to be like, what witchery is this? Like, what did you, what did you do to me? What's, what is this? What's going on? Um, this person's very intelligent. They might study psychology or they just know a lot about psychology. So they're going to have that kind of mentality of wanting to figure it out. Um, sorry, I kind of rambled there. I wanted to get into the, the other portion of this reading, which is that I do feel like this person, let me, let me actually... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a part two of this reading because I ended up rambling <laughs> and going on about a completely different message. So I'm going to do a part two. Um, I like doing it that way sometimes because that way, like I can put a specific title on this one for those that are, it, it's like it, it draws the right people in, the people that need to see this video. So in that way, with the second video, I can really dive more into the psychic aspect. So I'm going to post both of these at the same time. Um, that way, you know, it's like you can just watch this and click on to the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support too. If this resonates with you, just liking the video, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Thank you guys.